isolation. It's not a nice feeling. And that's because humans are social animals, a bit like penguins, swarms of cows, or what's another social animal? Orangutans. And right now, you may be feeling isolated and anxious, wondering when you're next going to see your great Auntie Gertrude, or when you're next going to be allowed to go to the leisure centre for legs, bums and thumbs. Perhaps you're not completely isolated, but are struggling to cope with those that you live with, arguing about why they still haven't washed their pudding bowl, or why they keep moving your towel from where you normally hang your towel, when they should really be thinking about where they hang their own towel. Whatever your situation, we're going to find an opportunity now to relax while in isolation. So make yourself comfortable, either by lying on your back, or lying on someone else's back. And just let your eyes close as if they're slowly being covered in skin. Take a deep breath, as if you're swallowing some gas. And as you breathe out, let your mouth and tongue flap about like a big horse's lips. Picture yourself in a large garden now. The skies are blue and the grass is green. It's the nicest garden you've ever seen. I'm going to invite you to sit on a concrete mushroom. And as you sit on the mushroom, you are so relaxed you can't even remember your name. I can't even remember my name. I think it might be Horace. In one corner of the garden is my blue mat, where I do my fully nude yoga. And in another corner is a wooden gate, and in through the wooden gate walks a person. It's a woman person, with curly brown hair and a big nose. She walks up, takes a seat on another concrete mushroom, and introduces herself. I'm Anne Berenfield. Sorry, can you speak up? You're a bit quiet. Anne Berenfield. Thank you, Anne. The gate opens again, and another person enters. It's a short man this time, in a white t-shirt, white hat, and large red shoes. I'm Michael Wayish. Michael, can you sit on a different mushroom? You're a bit close to Anne. Why does that matter? Because we need to socially distance. Well, you didn't say that. Pardon? You should have said that before. Can you just sit on a different mushroom, please? So now that there are other people with you in the garden, you don't feel so isolated. In fact, you feel very relaxed indeed. There's somebody else coming in there. I'm Derek Collarbone. Derek? Collarbone. I'm sorry, but I, I don't remember inviting you. Anne invited me. Well, it's not up to Anne. I didn't think it would be a problem. Well, it is a problem. There aren't enough mushrooms. <laughs> oh, there's somebody else coming through the gate now. Hello, I'm Digbeth Fays. Pardon? Digbeth Fays. Anne invited me. We haven't got enough stone mushrooms. I'll handle this, thank you, Derek. I didn't think it would be a problem. There's nowhere to sit. I'll just sit on the grass. You can't sit on the grass. I'll sit where I want, mate. You can't sit on the grass. You have to sit on a concrete mushroom. And as you watch everybody start to argue, you realise that actually you prefer to be by yourself. In isolation. So with that, you're going to open your round eyes now. Relaxed in the knowledge you're far away from those annoying people. I'm Dr. Giles Bowden. Goodbye. Hello. Giles, they don't have any broccoli, they don't have any manuka honey, and they still don't have any toilet paper. Dorothy, are you still in the supermarket? Yes, it took me half an hour just to find my mask. I put your mask under the seat. Well, I told you to leave it in the glove box. But that's where I keep my gloves. I keep my gloves in the glove box and my boots in the boot. Uh, what are we going to do about toilet paper? Well, we can use my big handkerchief. Well, I can use one side and you can use the other. I'm not using your big handkerchief. But Dorothy, calm down. You'll have a negative effect on your chakras. Don't tell me to calm down. It's all right for you sitting there with your eyes closed all day. You know full well I'm a vulnerable person. Now, did you get any toffees? I didn't have time to look for toffees. Well, go back in. Go back in? I've been here for two hours. And when you come back, don't forget to wash your hands with a garden hose. Not 
Well, and you can wash your mouth out as well. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable woman. I even asked her for a few toffees. <laughs>